Good morning. I'm Steve and this is my assistant Toby. Today I want to talk to you about augmented reality in surgery. So what is augmented reality? Augmented reality just means having normal video, what you can see with your eyes and putting extra information on it. Maybe you've heard of Pokemon Go or seen TikTok videos where people put silly hats on. That's basically augmented reality. Taking video, adding stuff to it. Now, my research, and what I want to do, is use that to help surgeons see what's inside the human body while they're operating, so it makes life easier for them. We've built this model on our desk here, which we can imagine for today is a human patient, and inside that patient is a liver and a cancer which we want to remove. The cancer is just a marble here. By taking the lid off the box, we can see the marble quite easily. And that's what we might call open surgery. Open surgery has been being, being, being done for centuries and is quite effective at getting the cancer out, but does lead to a lot of pain and a long time to recover in hospital. What we want to do is do keyhole surgery, which you may have heard of, where we just make a small hole, stick a camera in and reach in and grab the cancer out. Hey, well done. Now, Keyhole surgery is great, but it's technically more challenging because you can't see as much. So what we do is we do augmented reality. We you give our, an X-ray. We give our surgeon a video screen or a tablet computer here, and the surgeon can use that. And to there look will at be a little circle, I think, about yep. there, which is where the marble will be. So or now the surgeon can use that. To, re to remove the right leg, so the surgeon can only remove one leg at a time, otherwise the patient will fall apart. They can use that to remove the right leg quickly and get at the marble. We're going to put that back. What we'll do this morning is a short experiment where we'll get our surgeon to do a few different surgeries with the marble in different positions and see how long it takes them to find the marble and operate on it. So I'm going to move the marble. The surgeon doesn't know where I'm moving it. Move it. Right, uh, so the marble is, is now in the right position. The surgeon's going to find the marble Sorry. and remove it. Remember, you've got to hold the tablet, hold it up a bit so that you can see these special markers on the top. Here it is. Well done. Okay, we'll try again. The surgeon's going to look away while I put the marble in. Okay, here he goes. Use the tablet, use, uh, use the tablet, surgeon. Oh no! The surgeon was concentrating so much on the augmented reality then that the surgeon didn't notice that the box was already missing a leg. Now this is a, this is a real problem in surgery. You may well have heard of people getting run over while playing Pokemon Go or driving off piers while watching their sat nav. The same thing happens with augmented reality and surgery. So my research is focused a lot on how do we build augmented reality surgery systems that stop that sort of thing happening. That Obviously this is worse in real life because if that was to really happen the person's pretty glad. So thank you to Toby. Thank you guys for watching. Um, um, bye. Anything else? Bye bye.